the captain has invited us to join him in the cockpit for the landing. I can hardly breathe. 100. We're Karen Nate. Almost four years ago, we moved out of our apartment, put everything we owned in storage, and left to travel the world full time with the goal of visiting 100 countries. Almost four years later, those two naive kids who left Nashville on a one-way ticket to Japan are actually getting close to reaching their goal. Today we are leaving Bangladesh and flying to our 98th country of Bhutan. The flight from here to there is only about an hour, but it should be an exciting one because Paro Airport is actually considered one of the most dangerous airports in the entire world due to the tricky approach to the Himalaya Mountains. We have a love-hate relationship with these types of flights, as in, I hate them, and Nate, for some reason, loves them. <laughs> and this is actually the third time he has forced me to land in one of the most dangerous airports in the world. The first time being, on our way to trek to Everest Base Camp, we landed at the Lukla Airport, which is basically perched on the side of a mountain. That was not fun. And then earlier this year, we visited the island of Seba, which is home to the world's shortest commercial runway. That wasn't right, though. I was never even here. couple different ways you could define what makes an airport the most dangerous in the world. You could look at how many accidents have actually occurred there, or you could think of it in terms of how tricky it is to land. And Paro falls into the latter category. The safety record there is actually pretty good. It's just extremely tricky for the pilots to get to the runway because in order to get there, they have to weave their way through this valley in the Himalaya mountains. So hopefully I'll be able to capture a little bit of it. Thank you. I'm okay right now, <laughs> but when we start landing, like when the seatbelt sign comes on and we begin our descent, that's when my heart's gonna start racing. I think it's gonna be so much better than the last two for you, because this is like a big plane. It's not it like one of the normal. little ones. Yeah. yeah. I think as long as you just shut your eyes and don't look out of the window when we're landing, it'll okay. be totally fine. Okay. Here we go. Before you Please ensure that your window sheet is open for default. The flight is only about half full, so we have a whole row to ourselves. Actually, we have like one, two, five rows all to ourselves. May we remind you that chewing doma and smoking are strictly prohibited on all the to start our descent through the clouds. Apparently the landing that we're doing today is most difficult because it requires flying over the airport, circling through a small valley, and then coming in for a landing. Couldn't ask for a better view. I feel less nervous being in the cockpit because I can see the captain. He looks very confident, I feel like he knows what he's doing. So I feel better up here than I would back there, like just my heart is still beating so fast. You would think I would be used to landing by now, all the times that we've flown. Oh. 
300, 200. Absolutely incredible to experience from up here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm so happy to be in Bhutan, country number 98. <laughs> I know that was dramatic, but that's how I feel. <laughs> Man, that was scary. There are only 15 pilots in the whole world who can land on this runway, and we just got to meet one of them. So cool! Look at this airport. It is so beautiful. I feel like I'm in a monastery. That was too good. So I cannot stop smiling. Thanks. This is like the calmest, most serene airport that I've ever entered. I don't think I've ever felt like I needed to whisper inside of an airport. Where is everyone? Even the baggage carousel has a monastery on top of it. I love it here. Let's go find our guide. All right. Welcome to Bhutan, uh, yeah. Kera. <gasps> this is a welcome yes, scarf. If you want, you can put it around your neck. I love so it. I won't miss you out. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and I love my scarf. Yay. <laughs> what a difference a one hour flight makes. This could be any further opposite from Bangladesh. So clean and quiet. <sighs> Traffic's a little bit different. Everything that's been coming out of my nose for the past few days has been black, so <laughs> just taking some deep breaths. This trip is off to a great start. First stop of the day, giant cup of coffee with some Momo. So good. I forgot how much I love Momo's. All right, we just picked up a local SIM card because our data plans don't work here, and now we have a three-hour drive west to the town of Punaka. to the runway. To the town of Punaka. 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 